A fetus is a mammal that develops after the embryonic phase and before birth. Fetus literally means containing young seeds. The fetus is also called the prospective baby. Embryology or embryo science is the field of science that studies how single cells divide and change during development to form multicellular organisms. In 1827, Carl Ernst von Baer and Heinz Christian Pander proposed the theory of germlayer development, von Baer discovered the mammalian ovum in 1827. And it is not known exactly when the researchers conducted research on human embryology. However, until now technological developments are still conducting research on the development of the human fetus in the womb. While the Al-Quran itself as the biggest miracle for Muslims who came down in the 7th century has provided knowledge about the science of the fetus at that time there was no advanced technology and world knowledge that discussed the development of the fetus in the womb. After the development of modern science, especially in the medical world, there is no debate in it regarding the concept of fetal development based on the Quran and the results of modern research. cannot be based on scientific knowledge in the 7th century. The only reasonable conclusion is that these descriptions were revealed to Muhammad from God. 1. Stage of Fetal Formation There are many verses in the Quran that explain the stages of the formation of the fetus in the womb, as well as the verses in the Quran that describe the stages of the formation of the fetus. In Surah, on Nail 16-4, explains that humans are created from semen. Here's the translation, He the Almighty and the Almighty has also created man from a drop of semen which outwardly looks small, meaningless, and helpless, in fact he has turned into a strong and formidable human being, in fact he has turned into a real dissident about God and his essence. In Surah, al hajj 22-5, explains that humans have been made from soil, then from a drop of semen, then from a clot of blood, then perfected until born as a perfect human being. Here's the translation, O people. If you doubt, the day of, the resurrection, then verily we have created you from clay, then from a drop of semen, then from a clot of blood, then from a lump of flesh which is perfect and imperfect, so that we may explain it to you, and we set in the womb according to our will, until the appointed time. Then we bring you out as babies, then, gradually, you come to adulthood, and some of you are killed and some of you are returned to a very old age, senile, so that he no longer knows what he already knows. And you see the earth is dry, then when we have sent down water, rain, on it, the earth lives and becomes fertile and grows various types of beautiful plants. In Surah al muminim 2314, it is explained that the semen is made into something that sticks, and something that sticks is made a lump of flesh, then the lump of flesh is made into bones, then we wrap the bones with meat, then we make another form of being. Here's the translation, then we made the semen into something that sticks, then we made the sticking thing into a lump of flesh, and we made the lump of flesh into bones, then we wrapped the bones with meat. Then we made him a different, shaped, creature. Glory be to Allah, the best creator. The Surah, Fatir 3511, explains that humans were created from soil, then semen, then humans were made in pairs, male and female. Here's the translation, and Allah created you from clay then from semen, then he made you in pairs, male and female. No woman conceives and gives birth, except with his knowledge. And the life of a person is not prolonged nor is his age reduced, but, it has been determined, in the book, Lamphas. Indeed, that is easy for Allah. In Surah, Yashin 3677, it is explained that man was created from a drop of semen. Here's the translation, and did man not notice that we created him from a drop of semen, that he turned out to be a real enemy? In Surah, Azumar 39-6 explains that the formation of the fetus is in the mother's belly. Here's the translation. He created you from oneself, Adam, 
Then from him he made mates and he sent down eight pairs of cattle for you. He made you in your mother's womb event after event in the three darknesses. That which, does, is Allah, your Lord, the Lord of the kingdom. There is no God but him, then why can you be turned away? In the Surah, al Minimum 4067, explains that humans were created from soil. Here's the translation, it is he who created you from clay, then from a drop of sperm, then from a clot of blood, then he gave birth to you as a child. Then, let you live, so that you reach maturity, then, let you live again, until old age, some of you died before that. We do this, so that you may arrive at the appointed death and that you may understand, it. In the Surah, Noah 71 14, explains that humans were created in several levels of events, processes of occurrence. Here's the translation, and verily, he has created you in stages, events, in the Surah, al Qiyama 75 37. It is explained that humans started from a drop of semen that was shed in the womb. Here's the translation, wasn't he originally just a drop of semen that was shed, into the womb? In the Surah, al Qiyama 75 38, it is explained that semen is made something that sticks, and Allah perfects it. Here's the translation, then, the semen, became something attached, then Allah created it and perfected it. In the Surah, Ali Insan 76-2, explains that humans were created from a drop of semen. Here's the translation, indeed, we have created man from a drop of mixed semen which we wanted to test him, by command and prohibition, so we made him hear and see. In Surah, al Mursalat 77-20, it is explained that man was created from lowly water, Mani. Here's the translation, didn't we create you from despicable water, semen? In Surah, Abasa 8019, it is explained that man was created from semen. Here's the translation, from a drop of sperm, he created it and determined it in Surah, at Tarak 86-6, explains that humans were created from gushing semen. Here's the translation, he was created from gushing water, semen. In the Surah, at Tarak 86-7, describes the release of sperm between the spine of the male and the ovum from between the breastbone of the female. Here's the translation, which comes from between the spine, Salbi, and the sternum in Surah, al alaq 96-2, explains that humans are created from a clot of blood. Here's the translation, he has created man from a clot of blood thus several verses that explain the origin of the formation of the fetus in humans or the origin of humans being formed. 2. Maintenance of the fetus in the womb. Here are some verses that explain that the fetus is in the care in the womb, a solid place. In the letter, al Muminum 2313, explains that semen is stored in a solid place, Rahim. Here's the translation, then we make it semen, which is stored, in a solid place, womb. In the Surah, Az-Zumar 29-6, explains that Allah made man in his mother's womb in three darkness. Here's the translation, he created you from oneself, Adam, then from him he made mates and he sent down eight pairs of cattle for you. He made you in your mother's womb event after event in the three darknesses. That which, does, is Allah, your Lord, the Lord of the kingdom. There is no God but him, then why can you be turned away? In the Surah, al Mursalat 77 21, it is explained that the fetus is placed in a solid place, Rahim. Here's the translation, then we put her in a firm place, womb, thus the Quran explains that the fetus is nurtured in a solid place or womb, and is in three darkness, namely darkness in the belly, darkness in the womb, and darkness in the covering of the fetus in the womb. In the Surah, Ali Imran 3-6, explains that God formed man in the womb, and the gender of male or female is by Allah's will. Here's the translation, it is he who formed you in the womb as he willed. There is no God but him, the mighty, the wise. In Surah, R13-8, it is explained that Allah knows what is in the womb of a woman and all the events in it. Here's the translation, 
Allah knows what every woman is in, what is imperfect and what increases in the womb. And everything has a measure with him. The following is the interpretation of the verse above Tafsir al Muyosir, Ministry of Religion of Saudi Arabia Allah knows what every woman has in her belly, is he a boy or a girl, is he wretched or happy? Allah also knows what is lacking from the womb, where the fetus in her womb is aborted or born before the age of nine months, and what is more than the period of her pregnancy. And everything has its destiny in the sight of Allah with the provisions of good, less, or increase, which he will not pass. 4. Development of baby's senses. In Surah, on Nail 1678, it is explained that Allah has given humans hearing, sight and conscience. Here's the translation, and Allah brought you out of your mother's womb knowing nothing, and he gave you hearing, sight and conscience, so that you may give thanks. In Surah, al noon 2378, it is not much different, and the following translation, and it is he who has created for you hearing, sight and conscience, but you are very little grateful. In the Surah, al mulk 6723, it is not much different, and the following translation, say, it is he who created you and made hearing, sight and conscience for you. But, you are very little grateful. In Surah, as sage to 32 to 9, it is explained that hearing and sight are given after the human spirit is breathed. Here's the translation, then he perfected it and breathed his spirit, creation, into, body, and he made hearing, sight and heart for you, but, you are very little grateful. In the Surah, Ali Insan 76 to 2, the same thing is explained, the following is the translation. Indeed, we have created man from a drop of mixed semen which we wanted to test him, by command and prohibition, so we made him hear and see. 5. Pregnancy Period. In the Surah, Al-Aqaf 46-15, it is explained that the womb has a period, as well as weaning there is a time, the following is the translation, and we have commanded man to do good to his parents. His mother had conceived him with difficulty and gave birth to him with difficulty, too. The period of pregnancy until weaning him is 30 months, so that when he, the child, is an adult and he reaches 40 years of age he prays, O oh my Lord, guide me so that I can be grateful for your favors which you have bestowed on me and on the two people. And give me goodness that will flow down to my children and grandchildren. Verily, I repent to you and indeed, I am a Muslim.